Jeffies, I got donuts. Oh, thanks, baby. Um, Mom, they weren't donuts. They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good. You're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. They have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over them? Well, Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. Well, that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm going to give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, Daddy, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there. Do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just want a lifetime supply of donuts. We're going to get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not going to claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy. Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, so if you need me, I'll be in my room, Danny. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the Donut King. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I won a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the Donut King. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the King, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what could I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me a sec. Beep. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so PB. I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts. Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts. Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. Bow king. No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. Well, I didn't bow to you. Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Dang, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Dang, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Oh, Jeffy, look, we're going to get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. It's not a kingdom. God! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the Donut Kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the Donut Kingdom. It's not a kingdom. It's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king. That's a Burger King crown. Look, leave, or you'll be sorry. What are you going to do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm going to give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm going to whoop you with my tail, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies. Oh, look, look, look at that. On the TV, Karen, there's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No. Great. I'm oh, my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you gotta cuddle with me! It's what? cuddle time! It's cuddle time, it's answer the phone time, Karen! Get, get off of me, get to answer the phone. Hello? Wait, wait really? What? The chief? What? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh no! Chief! Chief, what's going on? 
I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. What's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. What is wrong? Wong a girl. No, no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh, no. But, but, chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world. Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest. Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no, sir. You're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it. You, you really think so, guy? I know so, sir. I'm gonna get a donut. Well, you better hurry because the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now. I'll go. Hurry up, damn it. Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That, that's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. Oh, come on, this line is ridiculous! I know, tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. What, 45 minutes? Hey, 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 Pooby. Hey, Pooby, let me skip you. What? No! Come on! Okay. Hey, hey, Logan. Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No! Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena! Can I get in front of you? No! Uh, the SML crew sucks! I'm just liking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha, ha! Okay, this sucks. I'm gonna go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. no me. skipping! Oh, come on. You play like one character. Uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty! Oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No. No, you'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. W what? Bow to the king. Uh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut? Uh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, I want something cool for a donut. What, uh, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got like this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just like junk? No, something cool. I don't, okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really need a donut. Do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get. Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get. Just give me a damn donut. Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already pissed. Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the donut kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in the stupid donut kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boini, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But Boini, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut! What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boini, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, Kitty. Oh, it's a Kit oh, Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Boydie, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boydie, do you understand how ridiculous this sounds? Listen to what you're telling me! 
telling me to do? <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the Donut Kingdom to trade the Dig Dug machine for a donut from the Donut King to get to the doctor to give you a dying boss on his deathbed! Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boiny, but this just sounds crazy! Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boiny, I got your donut! Okay, Karen, you got the donut! Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Uh, Karen, I guess, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, it's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the Ding Dong Machine Boy Day. <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut. I can save my boss. He better hurry. Chief, Chief, I got the donut. Ah, oh, you're too late. He died. No! All right, hold on. Let me just restart the video. <gasps> Chief, Chief, quick, eat the donut. <clears throat> oh, guy. You saved my life! I'd do anything for you, sir! Ew! Alright, Daddy, I gave away all my donuts! What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did! So the Donut Kingdom is no more! What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts! A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep! Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy, like baked beans! Ew! What? Baby! Look what I just found! I found the golden baked bean! You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life! Oh no! All hail the baked bean king! Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? Marvin! Guess what came in the mail today? These nuts! My grandparents' ashes. Oh, Wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like both of them? Yeah, Marvin. They wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, that's their ashes? Yes, Marvin. They died and they were cremated. They wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it. It's weird. Oh, no, Marvin. They love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah! But Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I got it. I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this. Oh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? What, why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? Nah. No. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm about to get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke! Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do! And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. But no, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like, this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. Alright, guys, okay, what are we gonna do about this? But what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it, because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last! Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm gonna sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we gonna find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. What? What? Oh, oh, Jeffy, come on, Jeffy! Oh. Come on, we needed that. Oh. <gasps> ah! Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> All right, who did it? Jeffy did it. What? Yeah, yeah, Jeffy did it, Jeffy did it. Yeah, Jeffy did it. Oh, screw you guys! That's it, Jeffy, you're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy. No, there wasn't, there were two vases! No! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they friend me. Jeffy gets friend. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends friend me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs>
It's okay, baby. We'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth, or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me, but this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know, it's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? <laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna open the box now. <clears throat> What? Oh, it's head! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, there's no more pieces of him in there? No, it's just his head! What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now! What? No! I'm not gonna tell the truth just because you got Ken's head! But Junior, look what he did to him! Oh, look, 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 maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? What, Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room, along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's? So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's Double? Well, I did! I love Dave's Doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're going to give you a Spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's going to try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes! I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes. <gasps> ah, mommy! Why? <laughs> you guys ready to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Or Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. All right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm-mm-mm! My famous soup is almost ready! Oh, hey, Jeffy. What are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined. Just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Peepee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Peepee? What? No, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Peepee. Chef Peepee. Oh, you killed Chef Peepee! Yep, and I'm going to keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Peepee back! Are you going to tell the truth? Oh man, 
man. You got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother? Father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video, Jeffy gets framed, we should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just, we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Now, don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again! <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Joseph, the pins are set up. Julie, you better not be making a mess in there. I'm not going to make a mess. Oh, dude, I can't wait to get a strike. All right, guys, we're playing extreme bowling. So, Joseph, you're going to throw that bowling ball into the kitchen and hit the pins. But, uh, how am I supposed to see the pins if I'm blindfolded? Oh, look, look, look. You're, you're staring right at the pins. Just trust me. So, if you throw it straight, you'll get a strike. Okay, dude. This seems like a really bad idea. Ah, oh, shut up, Four Eyes. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about anyway. Well, yeah, Cody, I've never had a bad idea in my entire life, okay? Yeah. All right, Joseph, so just throw it forward, okay? Okay. Uh, uh. I'm going to bed. Dude, did I get a strike? It sounded like a strike to me. Kinda. I'm gonna get the ball. Okay, my turn. Actually, I don't feel like playing this game anymore. But, 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 but it's my turn. I know, that's why I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, me neither, dude. Let's go upstairs and think of another game to play. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. You know what? I'll get the ball and do it myself. <sighs> Stupid Junior didn't want to get the ball for me. Watch this strike. <laughs> what? One left? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, fine. At least I can go for the spare. <clears throat> Well, come on, that's not even possible. So, Joseph, since Cody went home, you want to go get ice cream? Yeah, bro, you know I love ice cream. Yeah, chocolate's my favorite. All right, guys, what are we doing? Dang it. Uh, Cody, we thought you went home. Well, no, I was just downstairs, and I got a wicked strike. You should have seen it. God, I wish you went home. Yeah, me too. So, Cody, since you're still here, what do you want to do? Uh, we could play board games. Ew! You, you want to know why they're called board games? Because they make you bored. <laughs> Good one, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, no, they're called board games because you usually play them on a board. What? what well, what about Twister? Haha, <laughs> it's on a mat. <laughs> yeah. Mat games. Well, well, like the spinny things on a board. God, you're so ugly. Right? Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably your parents coming to pick you up. But no, it's not. Hello, Cody's parents? Please be them. Uh, Hello? Uh, dude, there's no one here. What? Hello? Did we get Ding Dong ditched? I don't know, dude, but I'm scared. Maybe it was a ghost. <laughs> Ken? Wait, what's Ken doing here? Did Cody leave him at the front door? I don't know, dude. Then who knocked? Uh, hold on. Um, Cody? Ken was at the door all by himself. Hey, Ken, how was the party? <laughs> Sick. Did you motorboat? <laughs> oh, you motorboat and son of a- Wait, wait, Ken was at a party? Yeah, I called him an Uber because I didn't want him driving. Not after that party. <laughs> he had too many pickles. Wait, so how did Ken knock on the door? With his hands? Duh. He's a dog, dude. How can he knock on the door when he's a dog? Oh, yeah, he's not alive. How can he knock on the door and take Ubers? Wait, he's not a dog. He's alive. All right, guys, how about this? Let's just think of a fun game to play that's not a board game. So, what game should we play? Yassi. No. Uh, hopscotch. No. Yassi. No. Uh, hula hoop. No. Yassi. No. Jump rope. No. Yassi. I'm not playing Yahtzee. Uh, oh, guys, how about we play, uh, Tag. Tag, you're it. Oh, tag, you're it. Uh, tag, you're it. <laughs> tag, you're it. Oh, oh come God. on, Cody. You ruined the game. What, how did I ruin it? Because you tagged Ken. He can't tag us back. Yeah. Well, yes, he can. Well, just show us. Uh, tag, I'm it. Well, that doesn't count. You just leaned into it. It's dumb. He's not alive. Yeah, that's a double tag. Uh, all right, how about this? How about this? How about we create our own game? Hmm. Ooh, I know. What if there was a game where if you dared someone to do something, they had to do it no matter what, but if they didn't want to do a dare, if you ask my question, they had to answer it like a truth. Sounds like Yahtzee to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be called Truth or Yahtzee. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Truth or Yahtzee. No, that's dumb. Ooh, oh, no, no. Or oh, no, there's this dare. So dare or truth or Yahtzee. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Dare or truth. I like it, dare or truth. Yeah, that, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. No, I think truth or dare sounds better. That sounds awful, Cody. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well as dare or truth. Yeah. We're going to call it dare or truth. Okay, so the rules are, if I dare you to do something, you have to do it. Okay. But, but, but if you don't want to do a dare, I'll ask you a question, and you have to answer it no matter how bad it is, okay? Okay. All right, so, so, so Joseph, dare or truth? Hmm, dare. You know I'm a daredevil. Okay, I dare you to wear Cody's glasses for the rest of the video. Ew, not his glasses. I don't want to be a nerd all day. Oh, you're not going to be a nerd. You're not going to have his pimples or his big fat head or his ugly teeth. Just his glasses. 
All right, so Cody, um, take off two of your four eyes. But, but I can't <laughs> see without my glasses. Take them off. It's part of the game. You're not going to ruin someone else's dare. Yeah. Fine. Oh, I hate these glasses. Ha ha, Joseph, you're four eyes now. Dude, I can't even see anything. They're so blurry. Yeah, they're prescription. <laughs> what? He's hideous. I know. He's the ugliest person I've ever seen. Right? I, I wish I could get my eyes removed so I'd have to see him ever again. Me too. W what's wrong? Cody, you're the ugliest person I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, those eyes are ugly. W w no, no, no. I have beautiful blue eyes. No, I could kick a field goal between your eyes. <laughs> Like, your eyes have restraining orders on each other. Yeah. Like, they can't come within 100 feet of each other. Savage! <laughs> your eyes are like the earth and the moon. What? Like, like, you have to take a rocket to get to the other one. That's how far it is. <laughs> when Moses parted the Red Sea, he parted your eyes. Oh, no! Yeah, you're just so ugly, Cody. J Junior, just ask me dare or truth. <sighs> okay, dare or truth. Uh, dare. Um, I dare you to ask out a girl. Ew! Yeah, that's what she's gonna say when you ask her. <laughs> Where are we gonna find a girl at this time of night anyway? Just go outside and if you see one, ask her out. W what if she says yes? That's not gonna be a problem. She is not gonna say yes. Okay, I'll ask Ken. Ken, is it okay? He says it's okay as long as she doesn't say yes. She's not gonna say yes, trust me. She's not gonna say yes. Let's go find a girl. Wow, I love looking at the stars. All right, Cody, there's a girl. Ask her out. What is she doing outside? It's like midnight. She's looking at the stars. It's cloudy. There are no stars. Just ask her. Oh, my God. What? You are just so ugly, Cody. Every time I look at you, it just reminds me how ugly you are. You have fetal pickle syndrome. How many pickles did your mom have when she was pregnant with you? Junior, just shut up. I'm not ugly. Girls love me. Then ask her out. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to go? Ow! 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 I can't close my eyes. I don't have eyelids. Ow! It burns. It burns. Ow! 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 Dude, what happened to you? She sprayed me in the face with silly string pepper spray. Did she say yes or no? I took that as a no. Yeah, she turned around and saw his ugly chameleon eyes, and she freaked out and sprayed him. <laughs> Junior, it's your turn. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. All right, Junior. Dare or truth? I dare. I never turn down a dare. Okay. I dare you to take Chef Peepee's underwear that he's wearing right now and wear it on your head and then give it to me afterwards. But, ew! I don't want to wear Chef Peepee's dirty underwear on my head. You have to do it, Junior. It's a dare. Yeah, you have to do it, dude. It's just underwear. <sighs> You're right. All right, I'll do it. I'm not going to back down from this dare. I'm not going to lose. Ugh. Ugh. God, I can't sleep knowing there's a big mess downstairs. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. No, Junior, I don't want to see your face because you made a big mess downstairs. That's cute. I got a question, Chef Pee Pee. What? Do you wear underwear? Yes, I wear underwear like every other human being. Do you have some on right now? Yes, I have on some right now. Don't sleep naked. Can I have them? No! What? what? Look, they're dirty, they're gross, and they're stinky. Why would you want them? I need them on my head. What, what kind of sick fetish is that, Junior? Look, I just need them on my head. No, the, I need them on my ass, so you can't have them. Uh, look, look Chef Pee well, me and my friends made up this game called Dare or Truth. and it's Wait, 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 wait. You mean Truth or Dare? You didn't make up that game. Yes, we did. It's called Dare or Truth. Anyway, it's, it's been around forever. Cody dared me to get a pair of your underwear and wear it on my head, and I cannot lose this game. So give me some of your underwear, Chef Pee Pee. Well, sorry. You lost this game because I, I need to put them on my butt. Okay? Well, I need them on my head. No, no, no. I need them on my butt. <sighs> okay, Chef Pee Pee. I lied to you. Rumor has it around town is that you have doo-doo stains in your underwear. I don't have no doo-doo stains in my underwear. I'm well, a grown man. Everyone in town thinks you have doo-doo stains on your underwear, and I wanted to see your underwear to prove to them, because I don't think you have doo-doo stains in your underwear. Because I don't. Because Cody and Joseph and Dad and everyone around town thinks you have doo-doo stains in your underwear. So if you could just show me your underwear and show me there's no doo-doo stains, then you know what? There's my underwear, Junior. Do you see any doo-doo stains on it? Huh? 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 Um, not really, but there might be some microscopic doo-doo stains. So I think I need to wear them on my head so my eyes can get a better look. What? Weirdo! Ugh. All right, guys, guess who's the king of dare or truth? Whoa, dude, you actually got them? Whoa, let me smell them. I can't believe you guys dared me to do that. You guys did dare me to do that, right? Somebody said it. I think it was Ken. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Uh, how about truth? Why don't your parents love you? I don't even know the answer, dude. <laughs> Savage. All right, Cody, dare or truth? Uh, truth. Are you straight? Uh, hey, whoa, hey, we're having a good time here. We don't, we don't gotta ruin it, you know. Drew, you're giving my underwear back! No, they're mine! I, 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 I mean, no. Yeah, Chef Pee no. I have to keep them on my head. It's part of a dare. Well, I have to keep them on my butt, so give me my underwear back. How about this, Chef Pee If you play dare or truth with us, I'll give them back. I'm not playing truth or dare with you. Why are you saying it like that? Yeah, it's weird. It's called dare or truth, not truth or dare. So look, if you play, we'll give you your underwear back. <sighs> Fine, then. Dare. Okay. How about that? Dare? Um... I dare you to make out with Cody. Woohoo! Hey, Chef Pee Pee, I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know, it's a dare, so pucker up. I'm 
not making out with Cody. Well, then you're going to lose and you're not going to get your underwear back. Well, look, I guess I lost then. Ah, well, uh -huh, you lost, Chef PP. We get to keep your underwear. All right, Junior, it's your turn. Dare or truth? Uh, dare. I really like the dares. Okay, then. Ooh, I dare you to put Cody's glasses in the garbage disposal. Okay. Wait, no, that's not fair. Ken, Ken hasn't even had a turn. Well, he's a doll. He can't play this game. Well, yeah, he can. Hey, hey, Ken, dare or truth? Oh, dare? You dirty dog. Okay, what's something weird? You? Uh, oh, 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 I know. Uh, Ken, I dare you to take your shirt off and let me pour chocolate syrup all over your hunky, sexy body. Because <laughs> yeah, that'd be so gross, right? Like, no one, no one would want to do that. That's weird, Cody! Yeah, 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 exactly. That's why I'm daring him to do it. Come on, guys! Uh. All right, Ken, are you ready for this very embarrassing dare? Like, it's so weird that I wouldn't even do it, because it's just so weird. Cody, this is gross. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why it's weird. Hurry up and pour the chocolate syrup, dude. <laughs> oh, you're just as excited as I am. All right, Ken, get ready. All right, Cody, stop. Huh? That's, that's enough chocolate syrup. Oh, uh, who, who dares me to lick it off, huh? All right, Joseph, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird dare, right? Oh, man, Cody's so weird. I know, he's the weirdest person ever. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Dare or truth? Truth. But why do you keep choosing truth? Dare is cooler. Truth is safe, dude. I guess you're right. All right, since you're homeless, uh, where is the weirdest place you've slept? Ooh, man, the places. I slept in a McDonald's dumpster once. Ooh, I slept in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pen. And I, one time I dug up a grave and I slept in the coffin. <laughs> Talk about a maple coffin with a velvet inside. Oh, man, it was comfortable. All right, guys, I cleaned off Ken. Wait, how'd you clean off Ken? I don't have any paper towels. Oh, I don't need paper towels. The tongue is nature's paper towel. <laughs> oh, my God. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. All right, um, I, I, Cody skipped his turn because he just did a weird dare. All right, so it's my turn. Um, someone asked me dare or truth. All right, Junior, dare or truth? Uh, dare. I always do dare. I'm not a crybaby. I dare you to punch your dad in the face. <laughs> but I'll get grounded. You gotta do it, Junior. Yeah, you gotta do it. It's a dare, dude. You're right. I never back down from a dare. Dad! Dad, dad, dad! What do you want, Junior? Oh, you're wearing Chef Phoebe's underwear on your head. Uh, you like doing that too? Man, that's it. Oh, Ellie in the doodle stain on the back. <laughs> it's like a design or something. Okay, well, how are you feeling, Dad? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Just chilling. I'm kind of hungry, though. What, you're hungry? Yeah. Are you in the mood for a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Ow! Oh, you call that a hit? I'll show you a hit. <laughs> Cody, Julia's getting his butt beat. Cody? <laughs> Sorry, I had to grab the underwear off his head. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, it's time to eat your green beans. Green beans, Daddy? I don't want green beans. I know, Jeffy, but you have to eat them. No! Oh, baby, can you help me feed them? Okay, Marvin. Jeffy, just open your mouth. Mm -mm. Open your mouth for the green beans. Mm -mm. I don't know how to open my mouth. Jeffy, you're opening your mouth right now. Mm -mm. <sighs> but baby, say something to him. Jeffy, please eat your green beans. Oh, okay, Mommy. Oh. Wait, really? Mm -mm. Wait, Jeffy, you have to eat your green beans. Hold on, Daddy, one second. Where, where are you going? I don't know. What's he doing? Read it, Daddy. Where'd you get that out, Jeffy? Oh, I don't know. Wait, Jeffy, you have to eat your green beans. Oh, oh no, Marvin! Breaking news, MK! World-renowned painter Jacques-Pierre Francois has died. He reportedly fell off a bridge and landed on a canvas. And with his last dying breath, he named the painting the Ugh as his body hit the canvas. The painting sold for $200 million and is currently hanging up in my living room. He leaves behind his million dollar fortune to his only son, who is unknown at this time. Oh, Marvin, that's so sad. Well, I don't know who he is. What'd he do? He was a famous painter. He got famous for putting paint in his nose and sneezing it on the canvas. Well, he got famous for sneezing on a canvas? Yeah, it's genius. Um, dang, I finished all my green beans. Well, you finished all your green beans? Yep. What, are you sure you didn't dump them behind the couch? Nope. I'm gonna go check. All right, go check. <sighs> Mommy, I lied. Daddy's gonna be mad. Oh, Jeffy. Jeffy, you lied. They're all behind the couch. Those aren't my green beans. What, Jeffy, then who are they? I don't even know. Tell the truth, Jeffy. Oh, okay, Mommy. Um, oh, I rubbed my pee-pee all over that remote control. Ew! Well, that's it, Jeffy. You are grounded. You're going to stand in the corner. What? My phone's ringing. <laughs>
All right, look, I'm gonna answer the phone, and then you're gonna stand in the corner. What's your corner? Uh, hello? Hey, is this Marvin? Uh, yeah, who's this? This is the police. Uh, I mean, uh, no, no, this isn't Marvin. Oh, this is the maid, I cleaned his house. Okay, first of all, that was racist, and second, uh, what, what accent was that supposed to be? Was it like Chinese or something? I was going for like Hispanic. Oh no, no, you gotta work on that. Oh, look, you know it's me, what do you want? Oh yeah, we got a woman here who filed a missing persons report. She says she's looking for her son. She like dropped him off at some random place a long time ago, but she says he wears like a blue helmet and a yellow shirt. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's, that's Jeffy, that, that's Jeffy. Yeah, yeah, you can sit her here. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, did you say Jeffy? Well, yes, Jeffy. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, I must have called the wrong person. I, I'm looking for Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, I have Jerry written down. I think it's Jerry. But no, it's Jeffy. You described Jeffy perfectly. Th 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 I have her son. Tell her to come pick up. Like, pick him up. He is right at my house. Like, come to my house right now. Okay, I'll send her over. But if she's disappointed, because Jerry's not there. It's Jeffy. Send her to my house. I have him. I have him. I have Jeffy. Okay, I'll send her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The happiest day of my life. All right, Jeffy. When Marvin gets back, you're going to apologize for dumping green beans behind the couch. Okay, Mommy. Baby, baby, baby. It's the greatest news I've ever heard. Marvin, wait. Before you say anything else, there's something Jeffy needs to tell you. What? Um, Daddy, you're bald. What? That's what he had to tell me? No, Jeffy. Say the other thing. Okay. Daddy, do you know how to spell hippo? Wait, what? H-I-P-P. -P. Oh! Oh, you know what? I don't really even care. Look, the cops just called. What? The cops? Yeah, and they said that Jeffy's real mom is looking for him, and she's coming to get him right now. So, no more Jeffy? No, no, no more Jeffy. No more mommy and daddy? No, no, no more mommy and daddy. You get to be free. I get to be free. Oh, not again. Marvin, when is she going to get here? Uh, I don't know. The sooner the better, right? So, so I think we should get Jeffy ready, and we should go wait by the front door so when she gets here, we can just drop him off and just say bye forever. Now, come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, any minute now, your real mom's coming to get you and I never have to see you ever again. Mommy, I don't want to go. I don't want you to go either, Jeffy. Well, Jeffy, don't call her mom anymore. She's not your mom anymore. Your real mommy's coming to get you. We never have to see him ever again. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that must be her. All right, Jeffy, look, st stand up straight. Wait, st stand up straight. Stand up, stand up straight, Jeffy. Look, look good. Look, come on, come on. All right, guys, the moment we've... Jeffy, stop crying. <laughs> all right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. Hello? J Jeffy, is that you? Come to mommy, sweetie. Wait, wait, you're Jeffy's mom? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for taking care of him. I've been so worried. I'm Nancy, by the way. <coughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a little sick, and I think I'm also a little bit pregnant. Oh, can I come in? I have to meet the people who've been taking care of my baby. Oh, no, Daddy, no. Oh, thank God my Jeffy is safe. My poor baby. Yeah, Jeffy's 100% safe. Hey, do you have coffee or maybe something with alcohol in it? Alcohol? Aren't you pregnant? I don't even know. Hey, I'll spit on you for a dollar. I'll spit on me for a dollar? No, I, I, I didn't say yes. I, I, oh my God, take me to a hospital. Pay take up. me to a hospital. Pay up. Look, look, look. You can take Jeffy. I just, I have one question before you go. Okay. Why did you drop him off a year ago? Oh, I needed somebody to babysit him while I was at the grocery store. It took you a year to go to the grocery store? It was very hard to find. Well, that, that sounds like a good story to me. All right, Jeffy, go with her. No, Daddy, that's not what happened. Jeffy, stop talking crazy. Close your mouth before I smack it. Wait, wait, Jeffy, what really happened? All right, Mommy, this is what happened. All right, we're here. Where are we out, Mommy? See, I don't want to be your Mommy no more, so you're going to find a new Mommy and Daddy. A new mommy and daddy? Yeah, you're gonna go over to those apartments and you're gonna knock on every door until somebody answers. And then whoever answers is gonna be a new mommy and daddy. No, but I don't want a new mommy and daddy. I wanna live with you. I love you, mommy. I don't love you. You're ugly and you're stupid and you waste my time. So go, get out of here. Uh, can I show them my prank joke? Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Just go. But mommy, what if I forget my name? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Ugh, let me write it. And there you go, your name's on your shirt. It says Jeffy. Jeffy? Yeah, so if you forget your name, just look at your shirt, okay? Now get out of here. Well, what if they don't want to be my new mommy and daddy? Uh, um, uh, uh, all right, all right. Putting this note on your shirt, there you go. What does your note say, mommy? Uh, it, it says you're a good boy, now get out of here. Say I'm a good boy? Yeah, now go, go. All right, mommy. Leave. God. Glad to be rid of him. Bye, Mommy. How 
was your day at work, Boyne? Oh, it sucked. It was such a long day. Who is that? You expecting someone? No. I'm not gonna answer it. It's probably like a candy salesman. We don't want any candy! No one answered. Huh? Who's at the door? Oh, they probably woke me up from my dream. Hello? Hey, you want to see my pencil? Wait, your pencil? Wait, who are you? What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, my name is Jeffy. She is changing on my shirt. Jeffy! And that's what really happened. Jeffy! Ah! I told you about ah! my Mommy sure does love her smokes. Uh, uh, Jeffy, you have to go with your mom now. <laughs> Daddy, please don't make me go with old mommy. She hits me and she calls me bad names. But, but she's your real mom, Jeffy. Ruben, I don't think she takes care of him. But, but, the, but that's his real mom. Oh, yeah, that's the spot right there. Oh, I wonder what that smells like. Oh, oh, yeah, that is that is two months of no shower right there. Oh, you want a whiff? What the, no, I don't want a whiff. All right, come on, Jeffy, we got to go get some money. I, I, I mean, go home. No, I don't want to go with you, old uh, mommy. Jeffy, you gotta go oh, with her. No, come on, Daddy, Jeffy, please, please, go. please, Daddy. Come on, Jeffy, you're being a bad boy. Mommy needs to get paid. Daddy, Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry about the green beans. I won't move my pants anymore. Daddy, Daddy. Well, he's gone now. Marvin, I can't believe you let that terrible woman. Oh, look, he's not a responsibility anymore. That's his real mom, and I don't care about it. Marvin, she beats him! Good! Well, I'm leaving! All right, fine, leave. I don't care about you, leave! Fine! Fine, leave, bye! Bye! Come here, Jeffy. You're coming home with mommy now. I don't want to go with you, old mommy. I don't like you. Oh, Jeffy, uh, how dare you say that to your own mother? I gave birth to you in a porta potty. Now listen here, you little shit. Your mommy's lottery ticket now, okay? See, your daddy was a famous painter, and he died, and he left you millions of dollars. So now, whenever you're 18, that money's gonna be mine, and you can live with whoever the hell you want. I don't wanna live with you, mommy. I don't like you. Oh, you're gonna live with mommy, and you're gonna like it, okay? All right, now, now shut up. This is a stolen car, and I don't want to attract any more attention. Okay, Jeffy's gone forever, and that's all that matters. It's just me, myself, and I. I finally get some peace and quiet, and I, I finally get to relax. That's all I care about. I just, I just want to relax. Jeffy! Oh, hey, what, yeah. God, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw you were having a moment. I, I thought I'd cheer you up with this piano. I, I saw everything that happened. Oh. Am I a bad person? Yeah, yeah, you suck. Well, listen, I just want some peace and quiet, so can you leave? Okay. Oh, stupid cat piano. Jeffy would always annoy me with this thing. I just, I just want some peace and quiet. Lola, 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 Lola. I'm hungry. What did you just say? I'm hungry. What did I tell you about being hungry? You wait till next week when the check comes in. You've been a bad boy. You don't get to eat this week. Aww. Huh, this is kind of fun. But no, I, I don't want to hear it. It's stupid and it's annoying and it's dumb. And I, I don't want to hear it anymore. I just, I just want peace and quiet. I don't want to hear that dumb, stupid piano that Jeffy used to play. No, I, I don't care about it. I just, I just want to sit here by myself in the, in the quiet. Hmm. No, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 What? What? Jeffy! What? what? Oh, my baby! Ah! Jeffy! Jeffy, get back here! Um, maybe, maybe I can watch some TV. No, 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 no. I, I just, I just wanted to be quiet. Just, just nice and quiet. Just sit here by myself. <laughs> Who's that? <sighs> That's probably Rose. Hello. Daddy, what? can I please live with you? What, Jeffy, where'd you come from? How'd you get here? I jumped out of Mommy's car because she was hitting me and said I couldn't eat for a week. Well, well good. Oh, no, Daddy, please. Daddy, please. I'm sorry. Let me live with you. No, Jeffy, you remember that time you locked me out of my house? Yeah. Well, check this out. I just locked you out. It's payback. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just really want to live with you. I'm so hungry and I haven't eaten. No well, whose fault is that? I tried to feed you green beans, you threw them behind the couch. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll eat all the green beans ever. 
Oh, I don't want to hear it, Jeffy. Just go live with your mommy. Please, just please let me live with you. It's cold out here, and my old mommy hits me and calls me mean names. Please, Daddy, I only want to live with you. Please, please, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, I'll let you come inside for 10 minutes until your mom comes back. Really, Dad? Yeah, but only until your mom comes back, okay? Okay, thanks, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit right here until your mom comes back to get you. Um, Daddy, what were you doing with my cat piano? Oh, uh, I accidentally stepped on it when it was on the ground. So I put it up here so I wouldn't accidentally step on it again. Were you playing my cat piano, Daddy? No, no, I would never play this stupid, dumb, annoying cat piano. It's childish and annoying, and it's really loud, and I love the peace and quiet, so I, I want it to be quiet. You're not going to play it? No, Daddy, I don't want to annoy you. Well, well good. Well, good. I, I wouldn't want you to play this anyway. It's dumb and annoying and makes a lot of noise, and I like, I like the peace and quiet, so that would be dumb if you played it. I mean, I guess if you want to play it, you can play it. You're going to let me play my cat piano no, just, just this once, just because it's, it's, it's really quiet, and my ears are ringing, it's making me have a panic attack. So just, just, just play it a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Oh, thanks, Daddy. Uh, who's that? Uh, it might be your mom. Oh, no, Daddy. Please don't tell her I'm here. Hello? Is Jeffy here? Uh, well, what's going on? Uh, I was at McDonald's getting Jeffy a Happy Meal, and then he said he had to go to the bathroom, and then he ran away! Is, is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, is Jeffy here? Uh, well, uh... Well, is he here or not? Uh, uh, l let me, let me... Uh, well, uh, let me, let me just look around and see if he's here. Okay, please hurry! Just give me a second. Please find him! Please don't make me go with her, Daddy. Please? But, but that's your mom, Jeffy. But she hits me, Daddy. Please? Just let me make a phone call real quick. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I made a phone call. You're not going to make me go back with her, are you, Daddy? J Jeffy, just go sit on the couch. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, Daddy. <sighs> Hello? Did you find Jeffy? Uh... Yeah, I found him. Oh, thank God! Let me give you a hug. No, 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 no! I don't, I don't, I don't need, a, I don't need a hug. Look, he's just, he's just in the couch in the living room. So, so, so come inside. Oh, thank you. All right, Jeffy's in here. Oh, Jeffy, my baby! Oh, please don't hit me! Please! Oh, mommy would never hit you, sweetie. I love you. Hey, do you think you could give me and Jeffy a minute alone? I need to give him some kisses. No, Daddy! Please don't leave me alone with her. Uh, please. I'll be right back, Jeffy. No. Jeffy, get your ass over here. No! Jeffy, come here! No! Jeffy, run! Run away from me! No! Never oh, run away from me! Oh, you know you're not going to run I told you never to run away! Oh, Jeffy, you're going to go with home with me now! Oh, Jeffy, oh, Jeffy, oh, Jeffy, oh, Jeffy, oh, what's going on here? All right, ma'am, you're under arrest for child abuse. She also spit on me. Ew! Wait, 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 wait! I gotta go see my Jeffy! He's gonna make me millions! Hold on, I'll be right back. But make her millions? What, what is she talking about? Daddy, is old mommy gonna go to jail? I don't know yet, Jeffy. Well, she's being charged with child abuse, spitting on you, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. Great. So, what happens to Jeffy now? Well, what this means for you is since I know he's not your kid, you don't have to take care of him anymore. I don't? No, no, you could send him to foster care. I mean, you could adopt him if you want to. Uh, well, I, I think foster care would be best. I mean, I lived with Jeffy for a year and it just, it just didn't work out. Really? You don't have any good memories of living with him? Good memories with Jeffy. No. But, wow. Wow, that was really fast. Yeah, it's just, I, I think foster care would be best. Daddy, please let me live with you. I promise I'll be the bestest boy ever. I just... I just... What are we doing? Hold on, I just... Please, Daddy. Please. I know. What, what? What was that? I know. I know. You're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Give me that one more time. I guess I'll adopt him. Oh, okay. You'll adopt him. Great. Okay. Well, now that you're his legal guardian, I can show you this piece of paper I found in his mom's purse. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. I think I have the second half of this. Well, go get it. What are you waiting for? Oh, what? All right. What's it say? If lost, please contact. His father? His father is Jacques-Pierre Francois? Who's that? The Jacques-Pierre Francois? Who is that? He's Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's... Uh, uh, Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's
He's a famous painter and he died earlier today. He died? Yeah, he left millions of dollars to his unknown son, which I guess is Jeffy. I'm rich AF. So Jeffy's a millionaire? Yeah, well, I mean, he can't get the money until he's 18, but you know. Wait, wait so, 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 so when Jeffy turns 18, he gets millions of dollars? Yeah. Well, well, well. J just, just for the record, I, uh, I adopted Jeffy before I ever knew he was rich, right? Yeah, you were thinking about sending him to a foster home. Oh no, no, no! I never thought about that. When's he turn eighteen? Well, according to this, he's twelve right now. So, so, so just six years? Yeah. And, and Jeffy gets millions of dollars? Yeah, easy. Oh, okay. I mean, but, but like, I just want you to know, Jeffy, I adopted you before I knew you were worth millions of dollars. Good. Yeah, yeah. So I want everyone, I want everyone to know that I'm, I'm a good person, right? Yeah, yeah. We know. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much, officer. All right, thanks. All right, bye. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to spend our first night together as a real family? Yeah, Daddy. Come on, let's go. Marvin, I think it's so sweet that you decided to adopt Jeffy. What? I think it's sweet you decided to adopt Jeffy. Yeah, I think I did the right thing. Marvin, aren't you gonna tell him to stop? No, not this time. This one's for me.